my stamp. All right. I don't have a hand. Two thousand. All right. So twenty thousand. I understand. I understand now. I don't understand. Type it into Google Translate. I don't understand. Peter comes in with the cold call in position. In this video for CoinPoker.com, we are playing 500, 1,000 with a 2,000 big blind ante on Hustler Casino Live. In this hand, Tom Dwan raises up in the cutoff about $500,000 deep to 3,000 with Jack 10 offsuit. Hook in the small blind makes it big, 20K with Ace King offsuit, which is a very good play. Peter in the big blind calls with Queen 10 of clubs, then Tom Dwan calls too. Tom. Tom. When it goes three bet and call, especially when it's big, you gotta fold the offsuit stuff. You're gonna be so dominated, you gotta get out of the way. Please, please, protect yourself before you wreck yourself. Let's go to the flop. So now everybody knows about the old major. Great flop for Ace King. Both players catch middle pair against him. Hook starts with a check. Don't think this board gets bet into too often. Flop comes, ace of spades, ten of diamonds, six of clubs. Hook gets tricky and trappy and decides to check. I would probably just continuation bet in this spot with my top pair top kicker, a hand that is almost always good but very vulnerable to being outdrawn. But whatever, he checks. The two middle pairs check too. Let's go to the turn. When the three better checks, checks around. Oh, where does that card come from? The one out 10, and now you're betting? Oh my. Sorry, Tom. Things were just looking a little bit better for you. And now you're in the blender again. How does he not raise? The turn is the 10 of spades, a disaster for Tom Dwan because he's barely out kicked. Hook now comes to life and bets 15,000. I think if you check the flop, you probably want to check this turn, but you know, 15K is fine. If you are going to bet, you definitely want to go small or medium. Peter, tricky trappy player, just calls a queen 10 of clubs. Let's see what Tom Dwan brings. Excuse me, the case 10? Oh, no. This pot is about to explode. Seventy thousand? Sixty-five thousand? I feel like it's like seventy-five thousand coming right now. Seventy-three thousand. Where did they find the case 10? Hook on the hook. Tom Dwan says 73,000 with a hand that he has to presume is pretty much the nuts. Once you get Jack 10 on this turn, you're not trying to fold. He makes a 73. Let's see what Peter does. 73. Pardon the interruption. Every week for the next year, I'm hosting a $2,000 free roll poker tournament exclusively for the poker coaching community at Coin Poker. Full details are at pokercoaching.com slash free roll. Check it out and get that free money. Let's get back to the hand. And there are paths where dirt just sees complete felt in front of him. If Peter raises here, there's absolutely no way Dirk can fold as he'll be beating value. Hands like 10-9, 10-8. I think this is the end of Dirk. He will have felt 
after this. This line is so strong, but you beat value hands. Peter re-raises. He realizes he pretty much always has the nuts. Now, you may be thinking, if you were in these players' shoes playing for $500,000, you may think, wow, my 10 could be behind. And look, it could be. But if you're scared, and if you're weak, and if you're a nit, you're not going to win at poker. Peter re-raises to 223000 What I want to know is what do you think Tom Dwan should do at this point? You think he should fold and let it go? You think he should call? Or do you think he should rip it all in? Take a second, think about it. Let me know in the comment section down below what you would do in Tom's shoes and try your best to not be results oriented. It's 150 more? 150 more, yeah. 73 is here. This is actually a really nasty spot because you have to remember how this hand played out pre-flop, right? In this hand, Tom raised, hook three bet from the small blind, and then Peter cold called the three bet from the big blind. What kind of hands cold call three bets? Well, that's gonna be a lot of <sighs> suited aces, good strong high card hands, maybe suited connectors, maybe pairs. And if you think about that on this board, the ace is not gonna go nuts most likely. If he has a 10, it could easily be king 10 or queen 10. It could be 10 9, it could be 10 8. I'm not sure how loose Peter is pre flop. Or it could be a pair like pocket sixes, which crushes the jack 10. The one big wrinkle here is that there is a flush draw on the turn. Would Peter ever take a hand like queen jack of spades or 9 8 of spades and check raise for almost all of Tom Dewan's stack? And I do not know the answer to that. So, if Peter's not going to overvalue an ace, and he's probably not finding all that many bluffs in this spot, can the Jack-10 actually fold? I would not have folded in this spot if I was in Tom Dwan's shoes, but if you, this is applicable, applicable advice for you, this is a coaching channel after all, if you are playing in Tom Dwan's shoes in a local 2-5 game, somehow playing 500 big blinds deep, and you're against a generally straightforward player who's all of a sudden deciding to put in 240 big blinds, this Jack-10 is probably a fold. Let's see what Tom Dwan does in a much higher stakes game. decides to put it in, and I certainly do not fault him for that. You may ask, why not calls if you can fold on some rivers? Well, the problem with that is that you don't know what Peter has, and if Peter is running some sort of bluff with equity, which will happen maybe some portion of the time, you don't care if he folds, and you also don't care if he calls. Because if he does have some sort of draw, and it breaks off on the river, he's probably not going to run a bluff on the river, giving Tom amazing pot odds. Maybe he does. Again, I have no clue. This is a spot where I do think the all-in does make a whole lot of sense from Tom. Recognizing when he gets called, he's not going to like it, but he will get folds sometimes, and also he'll get value from worse hands, like 10-9 and 10-8 sometimes too. Let's see what Peter does. 
All in my How much? Okay, let me bring in the... Yeah, 223. Let me get 223. 100, 200, I mean, we're certainly not thinking about folding, right, Peter? Like, we're, we're in here. Yeah, I mean, he's never going to fold. No shot. Tom's got to be feeling pretty good. Little does he know, he's still behind. This is going to hurt even more for Tom, assuming he doesn't get there. Call. You, said call, you call, right? Call. He calls. He announced calls. Once or twice. Another million dollar pot. Peter, 84%. You call it. All right, two boards. Two. We're going to see two rivers, a million in the middle. Tom Dwan on the ropes. Twice, confirmed, right? Two times. I knew your intent wasn't all, so it doesn't matter. I know, but you throw a chip in. There's Jays in the chat. Tons of Jays in the chat. Alright, let's go. Two times. Ready? Let's go. One for Peter. Half a million locked up. Another one for Peter. Uh, yeah. <laughs> All three million dollar pots headed to the man in seat number two. After a whole lot of thought, Tom probably thought he had the nuts here. Peter makes the call and stacks Tom Dwan.